welcome back to our fifth session of Sunday School this fall. It's great to see you back here. If you need a little bit of review on what we've been working on, be sure to catch our first videos on the Good Shepherd YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the third beatitude that Jesus gives us on his Sermon on the Mount. Jesus says in that sermon, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. When people listening to Jesus heard this, they immediately recognized it. Their worship songs and prayers, the Psalms, all spoke of this. In fact, Psalm 37, 11 says, The humble will have land for their own. Land is really meaningful and important, especially back then, but even now. To own land was to have a place in your community, to have honor, and to have a way to provide for your family. But most of the people Jesus talked to didn't own land anymore. Landowners in their time were hated because they used violence, meaning force, to take the land. This is where Jesus turns things upside down. He's pretty good at that. With this promise, Jesus says the meek, meaning gentle, kind, humble people, are ones who will receive land, not the people who use force and violence. And Jesus said they won't just get the physical land of Israel where they lived, but they're going to get the whole earth. This also holds a powerful message about us caring for the earth. Take a moment to think about how you care for the earth. What are some things that you do to care for the earth? Meek or humble people live with an awareness of others' needs. Not only other people, but the planet and animals too. They remember that all the earth and land belongs to God, not to us. They recognize how everything they have and receive, including land, belongs to God. And they take care of it that way. This means using what they have with respect and love. There's a good phrase I want you to remember. I am God's child, and everyone else is God's child too. This reminds us of two important truths. You are a special, beloved, unique child of God who deserves love and respect. And each person around you is another special, beloved, unique child of God deserving love and respect. This is what meek or humble attitude really looks like. It means you don't see yourself or your needs as more important than the needs of those around you. When we are meek, we are truly free. We realize everything and everyone is a gift, worthy of love and care. Let's hear Jesus' beatitude again for today. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Now it's time to do some coloring and discussion questions. You can go into your packet that you got from Good Shepherd and pull out this coloring page. Then we'll do some discussion questions. Here are the discussion questions for your coloring time. Why was land important in Jesus' time? Why is it important today? What stories do you know of times when land was taken from others? How do you care for the earth? What is an example of being meek or humble? How do you make yourself aware of other people's needs? Take time now to pause the video and color in your packet while you discuss these questions. Now it's time for our activity. Take a minute to go around your house and see if you can find an object that means a lot to you. When you come back together, share your objects with each other and describe why they are important to you. Now, after you've done that activity in your house, it's time to go out in nature 
and find something that means a lot to you out in nature. Share your nature piece with each other and describe why that part of nature you found is important to you. Also take some time to talk about why that piece of nature is important to the earth. Let's pray together now. Repeat after me. Generous Creator, we praise you for making this beautiful world. Help us use what we have and treat the earth with respect and love. Help us be gentle, kind, and humble. Help us remember that others are just as important as ourselves. Amen.